shopping centre in Norwich. We are very excited about this. We look forward to it all day. Yes, it can only be the father and son stars of Britain's Got Talent, Stavros Flatley, along with X Factor's baby faced Owen Quigg. They're drawing in the crowds at the Castle Mall shopping centre. Our correspondent Natalie Gray joins us from live from there. Now let's join her immediately. Natalie, wow. I imagine the atmosphere is pretty electric there. were here. Tonight, the national treasures that are Stavros Flatley have been strutting their stuff on the stage below me. Absolutely extraordinary. The chubby dancing sensations were, of course, finalists in last year's Britain's Got Talent, and I was lucky enough to catch up with them just before they went on stage. To be honest, everything that happens to us every day, we just open mouthed and say, oh my God, can you believe this just happened? Oh my God, can you believe that just happened? It's just mad, 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 mad. And it, but it's really good fun. Now what, nice guys, now let me just remind you what happened last week when diversity rolled into town. They were switching on the lights at the nearby Chapelfield shopping centre. The organisers expected just 2,000 people. In fact, 8,000 people turned up. And many were frustrated because they couldn't see anything or move in the crowd. No such problems here because we're inside. It's an inside venue and it's all well and truly contained. There's the crowd down there. Give us a wave, guys. They're really excited because Owen Quigg, the ex a finalist in the year that Leona Lewis won is going to be on this stage shortly and I got to talk to him just a few moments ago too. We got the exam tomorrow morning at nine so you know but I've been well prepared and I've been studying all week so I could come here and do this gig so you know fingers crossed I do well tomorrow. There are a lot of girls downstairs with banners asking you to marry them. Are you available? I am at the minute um, and I just walked past the bridal shop upstairs so you know if they go in and try on a dress and you know, if they look nice, maybe we'll give it a go. He will be switching on the lights here at 7 o'clock with Stavros Flatley and Father Christmas too. Could it get any more exciting? Thank you. I don't think it could. I Thank think it's you, impossible Nat that Natalie can get more excited. Oh. I'm so jealous. I, I love Stavros Flatley. They're my favourite. And she's right though, isn't she? We just have a, they're national treasures, those guys. Now, we love them, don't we? Yeah, lots of people having a good time. And it's well. so good to see so many people out and about at these sort of traditional events and the switch on. If you've got any as well, you want to let us know about Get in touch. You know the, hopefully you know the email address now. Well, if you don't, it's Jonathan and Becky at ITV.com. Well, first, Stavros Flatley, now for something <laughs> equally extraordinary in Norwich, which took place earlier. Yeah, just to take a look at this. One, go! Yeah, Sean Jones at the start of his attempt on breaking the world record. It's for the most squats weightlifted in one hour. Over 60 minutes, Sean had to lift more than 41,600 kilograms. Extraordinary amount of weight. And coming into the last few seconds, he was still going strong. <laughs> well, Sean not only broke the world record, he smashed it, squat lifting a total oh. of 46,708 kilograms, a record Huge he did in aid of the British Heart Foundation. And after a short time to recover, he was soon back on his feet again. Yeah, don't worry, he was, uh, I can tell you, he was absolutely well recovered. He did speak, had, had a chat to us as well. Good to see him. He's actually got the world record as well for blowing up a water bottle, a hot water bottle. There you go. Now then, right, let's see what's coming up in the national news in a couple of minutes from now. But finally from us, something with the R factor, not X factor, R factor, you don't really see at this time of the year usually. No, these ducklings here have hatched yeah, six months earlier than usual. The baby mallards were spotted by wildlife lovers Don and Rosaline Coles in the garden of their home at Great Barton near Bury St Edmunds in Suffolk. Well, experts reckon the recent warm spell fooled the adult birds into thinking it was April rather than November, meaning conditions were just right for hatching, as we can see. My ducks are getting very busy at the moment as well. I don't know what's going on. It hasn't felt that mild this week, although not too bad today. And Amanda's joined us for the weather. Yeah, what about those ducklings then, Amanda? 
Well, you know, every month of this year, apart from January, has actually been warmer than average. So it's no wonder the ducks were a bit confused out there. But there is some very significant weather on the way. In fact, the Met Office have issued a weather warning for the weekend as we are expecting some very wild conditions. But I'll tell you more about that in a moment. In the meantime, let's take a quick look at some of your pictures from around the region. So we've got a leafy path through the Gog Magog Hills near Cambridge. That's from Kevin Sung. Another forest, this time at Rendlesham in Suffolk, taken by Jenny and Ken Nobes. Now over to Milton Keynes and this shot is of the Grand Union Canal from Ted Baker. And we've had some misty mornings lately. You can just about see the top of the clock tower at Norwich City Hall, taken by Matt Armitage. So thanks for all of those and please keep sending them in to us. Right, that's enough about the nice weather. Let's see what chaos is on the way. Well, I'm glad we've lost those cold temperatures, but that's not good. No, but I'm sure they'll be back windy. quite soon. Now, I can, it's a special treat we had, the Stavros family. We can now head straight back and hear and see. There he is, Owen Quiggs on stage at the moment for a quick burst of Owen. Can't hear much of him, but I can assure you, looking at the crowd, that they're ecstatic with it. We so love Owen, those guys. Yeah, places, they're, they're, they're saying more than that, aren't they, really? Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> Stavros Flatley, Owen Quigg as well, as I say, just a delightful to see people enjoying themselves so much. I can't so see Natalie there. in the crowd. No, That's she'll, funny. She's she'll, she'll be there as well, won't she? <laughs> Reminder of that website address, if you've got something like that coming up in your area, get in touch with us, Jonathan and Becky at IDV.com. That's all we've got time for for now. We'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs>